my first Taylor craft, a B, B model, not a, not a BC-12D. It was a, it was a BL converted over with a 337 to a Continental. Worked pretty good. It sounded like a Cub when it was flying because it had a Cub exhaust and everything. But it made the firewall, firewall awful hot. You had good heat in the wintertime, too. I mean, that, that, fire, that firewall was, would get hot. Did you, ever, did you ever fly it? You know, you never flew in that. You see, you see that uh, yellow stuff? No, it's green, isn't it? That is uh, zinc chromate, I think. That, uh, I bought that airplane in Lynchburg, Virginia. It was a club airplane. And you know, li around Lynchburg was a lot of flying then. And so that's why they painted that so they could see it good. Which was, was nice, you could, you could see it. How long did you have that airplane? Nine years. Nine years. I paid, uh, I paid $600 for that airplane. And I had a brother-in-law that was a mechanic for United Airlines. And him and I worked, worked that airplane. When there was, there was 60, 65 holes in that, it punched in that airplane, checking the fabric. And it, it passed, it passed. So we patched all the holes, but putting electrical tape, making a diamond thing, we put each one of those holes, covered each one of those holes, flushed the gas tank, changed the oil, checked the, checked the engine out, and I took it off from, the, Lynchburg to go to fly to Manassas out of Washington. And it was the first wheel that, that I had flown. It was different because that wheel wasn't very big. So I just used like a stick. I used it like a stick. I had to, had to get on the phone and get clearance out of the airport and they did it. But when I was going to pass the control tower, if I'd have had it on the ground, I'd have left it there. Because <laughs> So I started north, and all the faster that airplane would fly, it was indicating 60 miles an hour. I thought, no, something's wrong someplace, 60 miles an hour. A cub will fly faster than that. And then I had another thing. If I go to the right, I'm going to go out over the ocean. If I go to the left, I have the skyline drive. I ended up over the uh, Quantico, Quantico Proving Ground. Didn't take long to get away from there, I'll tell you. I got out of there. And then I came into Manassas. By that time, I'd got to, uh, I, it felt pretty good, but it's still only cruising at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> so I circled the field, and I circled it the second time. Am I going to make a landing on that field the first time I fly this airplane? Am I going to crack it up? May as well try it. Made a perfect landing. When it made it, greased it right on. Man, was I happy. And I felt good, too. But the thing was, my wife and my brother-in-law and his family was still coming from Lynchburg because I'd, I got there before they did. But along the way, he saw someplace, a bunch of metal laying out in the field. <laughs> he told my wife, he says, that must be Bob out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, she almost had a fit. And then he told her, he said, no, that, that wasn't an airplane. <laughs> but you know, I paid $600 for it, and it cost me 
me and my brother-in-law had caught it. $400 to repair one of, the, one of the ailerons, patch all the holes, really patch them, really put good patches on and check other minor details on it. Well, we, we gave it a one once over, and then we had, I went to a FAA man sat there, right there at Manassas. They, there was a FAA fellow flying out of that field. And I'd heard him talking, and there was two fellows there that were AIs. So I asked the one fellow, I said, uh, would you uh, check my airplane out for, Relic I mean, re, re license. Yeah, I said, well, you got the log books? I said, yeah. So I, I got up the log books. And he sat down on the bench there and he started looking. All of a sudden, he just folded up. He said, here, I won't touch it. Because of the Continental engine that was put in instead of the Lycoming. But there was an A-37, and that A-37 was signed by somebody there in Washington in the FAA office. So I had to get another fellow to, he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't sign it, he wouldn't touch it. But you know, after I got it licensed, I took it up and flew around the field and come in for a landing, and I crossed the controls on final and almost lost it. I don't, I was stupid. I don't know what. What happened? I crossed the controls, and there it was, right there's the runway, and I crossed the controls. Whew. I made it. 